Okay. Yeah, that's right. If I could flip you off, I would. But alas, I cannot. So I will just settle for beating you. Because I am better in every way possible. Alright, I am in good shape when it comes to that stuff. I'm happy. Alright, Captain's Quarter is where I need to go. So I'm going to go to the other two places first. Because that's how progression works. Go to the side places first because you might not get to get another chance to. Uh, why would the doctor keep tubes with the meat in his cabin? Private research? Hmm. Gross. Mission. Many of our employees are people who have spent many years or even tens of years creating drugs that are able to rescue the helpless from certain death. The same experts are victims of slanderous and brutal attacks from those who pompously call themselves protectors of morality or defenders of humanity. In the majority of cases, they haven't offered humanity even a small fraction of what you, H Plus Corporation, uh, employees have. This is why the management of the company wants to assure you all that H Plus is doing whatever it can to stop this barrage of ruthless attacks. We will shield you uh, so that you are able to give humanity a better tomorrow because humanity matters. So I think I was wrong about the whole uh, cannibal thing. It's just a way to rational for these people to rationalize the fact that they are using these people really as test subjects, as, as tools to be used, and, and they're trying to dehumanize them by calling them meat. Um, that's what it sounds like. And and I guess people stood up to that. They're like, hey, that's not fucking cool. You know, they, they're they living creatures. They, they can feel things. You shouldn't do that. Um, and then, like, H Plus was like, well, hey, we're trying to do things. This is for science, man. And then I guess there was a revolt with the captain leading the charge. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's anything in here except for a brain. I don't know why there's a brain, but there is. The meat is unstable again. I need to read uh, Markinson's research. Uh, replace the fluid in the test tubes with the meat in rows 4 and 9. Okay, I gotta remember that. Rows 4 and 9. Replace the meat. Rows 4 and 9. I. Not here, it seems. There's nothing here, it, it appears. No? Okay. Well then, uh, just those notes, I guess, is what I'm supposed to take from that. So, Captain's Quarters. Thing? No? No thing. What's this? No? Alright. How about here? Well, it is a pleasant surprise that there's no monsters that I am encountering up to this point. Hey, little hat. Uh, re God damn it, read that. Reach, after the spill of information from you, uh, I think I've seen this already. Yeah, no, I've already read that. I've read that twice, actually. I had to cut out one of them. Because uh, I forgot that I had read it. Thoughts. How is it possible that the Fataruk uh, cult has remained unchanged despite the numerous stimuli that affected it? The followers clearly did not feel the need for a change in the vision of Fantaruk uh, entirely satisfied their needs. They were rejected and then, or sorry, and then, and the world wanted to forget about them and let the entire species move on. Fantaruk was meant to remember about all of them and avenge them. Remember about, okay, whatever. Uh, they didn't need anything else and they knew they would die. They didn't believe in scientists, at least they did not believe that a life-saving cure would be created in time. They were right. They died and their bodies were burned. Ironically, the only appropriate way to dispose of the corpses served to make the cult's faith stronger. Now we're creeping up on, uh... So, Fataruk is the illness. Right? Like I said, I've been loosely keeping track of the story, because, to be honest, I haven't really given much of a shit. <laughs> um, that's just me. But, hey, if, if you like it, you like it, that's totally, totally cool with me. Uh, important events, a... <coughs> ow. Ow. A few rebellions were noted in which the rebels were hell-bent on enforcing the principles of the new belief, specifically purging sin with fire. They were all pacified. One such met, uh, event attracted the world's attention in particular. Following the death of the first one, the resentful inhabitants of Jara 
uh, decided to take their misery out on the employees of pharmaceutical companies who were trying to help them. A hundred of the infected managed to break out of the camp during the fights. None of them survived. Their weakened bodies uh, could not stand the heat of the Egyptian desert. Someone made the ironic observation that they had faced what they believed in. They were cleansed by fire. So, once again, I'm... I'm not 100% keeping track, but... And also, it's been, you know, multiple recordings across over a week. But from what I've gathered, it sounds like the phosphoric illness, or whatever the illness is, is kind of what stems, or branch, or has caused the branches out to the rest of the story. So, you have the illness that's killing so many people, and then H Plus Corporation creates these clones to test on them, to try to figure out a way to cure this illness and to save people. And these people with the illness themselves were having a problem with, um, I guess, the uh, the, the uh, uh, ethical ramifications of what they were doing. Um, you know, it's great that you're trying to cure cancer, but is it, you know, not, not, it's, you know, symbolically cancer, right? It's great to try to cure cancer, but if you're making uh, uh, people in any capacity suffer in the process, is it really worth it? And I'm not saying it is or isn't, I'm just saying philosophically it's an interesting question. If that is... Uh, like, if I'm correct in the pieces that I've put together up to this point. Uh, symbols. A common symbol was noted, which somehow remained unchanged, regardless of where it appeared and how much time had passed since the first information about Fontaruk emerged. It was based on the symbols associated with the mythological set, which were modified by the followers. Nobody has so far conducted any detailed or reliable research on this, so we do not know the creator's intentions. Did I read this? Doesn't look like it. Places of worship. The main place of worship was the complex in the Jara Cave. I, I could be getting that wrong, and sorry if I am. Uh, Jara Cave in Egypt, after the tunnels had been adapted and connected to the network formed by other caves, they served as a place of seclusion for those infected with S... As information about the religion spread beyond the caves, the cult found a home in many other camps that continued to welcome new inhabitants. It is suspected that it's, or it is suspected that its spread was unintentionally stimulated by the scientists working in various facilities who talked and exchanged opinions about it between themselves. After the cure uh, for blah, 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 had been invented, the Jara cave complex became an unofficial place of worship that gradually lost its significance as time went by. The caves were still visited by the curious on several occasions. Uh, groups of people have been caught engaging in strange prayers as Jara, or at Jara, but these incidents have not attracted the world's attention. Uh, there are urban legends that claim there is a secret place of worship decided to, or dedi decided, dedicated to Fontaruk, but we know nothing more than what is rumored. Important figures. The new belief is characterized by, a sorry for all the reading, but you can just skip ahead if you don't like it. Uh, the new belief is characterized by a total absence of an internal hierarchy. Ugh, gross. Internal hierarchy or, uh, or structure, the first one seems to be a connecting point. He is one of the de uh, deceased who allegedly had a revelation in which the new deity appeared and communicated its message. It was he who passed on the principles of the new religion to the people herded to or into Jiara. In other centers, there was always one man with the role of patriarch, uh, but they did not have any ties or interaction with one another for obvious reasons. They couldn't have created a common hierarchy that spanned many camps in the same way other major religions have. So a lot of uh, religious bullshit going on. Cult bullshit, excuse me. Alright, so... I'm sorry, did, has, has the objective changed? Uh, find the head doctor and get back to the officer's quarter. So head doctor's hand is what I found. What the fuck? So what's in here? What am I looking for? Oh, here we are. Capsules. If something goes wrong, I'll have to lead the people. The evacuation manual says something different, but going through Biomed 2 is the securest and uh, quickest route. 
I hope I'll handle the crowd well when the time comes. I have to be prepared for something sudden and unexpected. I won't be able to run to the passenger cabins to grab the access codes. I need to have them on me at all times. Captain access data reports. Uh, access codes will be exported to an external device, so the flash drive. Yep. Give me that. Find your way to the escape pods. Will do. Glad I was able to figure that out. Oh, okay. Another audio. Marcus. He freed me. I didn't say much, and he didn't need to either. He promised to quietly take me to the sealed part of the research section. I have nothing to lose. They've taken everything away from me. My command, my wife, my daughter. <sighs> Ignatia would be 21 now. She could have been happy, and maybe I would have been somewhere else. I have to make sure. I have to learn the truth about what they're really doing in the research section. The part of me refuses to believe doesn't want to believe that these people could be behind the smallpox that killed my child. It seems that even darker secrets are behind those armored doors. The look of that technician. I'll never forget those eyes. I kill them all if I have to. Yeah, okay, so I officially fucked up. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> um, but hey, that, you know... It, it, this way a cookie bounces. Yep, that's uh, the saying. That's how that's how you say that thing that I just said. That's how it goes. Um, yep. All right. So what do I do next? Ah, biomed two. Yay! We can move on. The next section. Please remain. Blah 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 blah. blah. Make your way to the escape pods through the Biomed Two section. Eh. It is very dark. I don't like this. By the way, sorry that there haven't been a lot of uploads lately. I cracked one of my teeth, and it was very difficult to speak for a while. I have to get a crown, in case anybody was wondering, which you weren't. I'll shut up. In a way, I understand why Marcus didn't want to tell me anything. It wasn't loyalty to the corporation. It was shame. It was shame that held him back. <sighs> All these people. You could feel the pain of those creatures just by looking at them. H-Plus wanted to improve its clones even more. What I saw is beyond words. Greater pain resistance, advanced gene mutations. The last shreds of humanity the clones had has now been taken away from them. There were rows upon rows of cylinders containing clones. Were they all intended for experiments? There were things in jars that I can't find a name for. Marco says they call them brainy bugs. One of these abominations infected the technician who was caught in my cabin. Marco says it was an accident. No, friend. This is chaos. The inevitable consequence of the evil that has nested here. Fantaruk. But where is the justice that was supposedly heralded by the chaos? Everyone is involved. The entire crew. We all have blood on our hands. Those who created this place and those who kept their eyes closed, pretending not to see anything. I don't need proof. They're coming for us, and we're not armed. Fuck this! I'm setting the claws free. Oh, shit. Okay. So he was the one who said... I thought that... I, I had a feeling that's kind of where this was leading. I'll call it a hunch, but he seemed... Shut up. 
Quiet. I, I overrode something. Oh, no, 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 no. I did not just do that. I did not just do that. All right. I accidentally wasted a, a, a syringe, and I don't want to do that. And, like, the checkpoint was literally just a couple seconds prior, so I went ahead and just dealt with that. Nothing? No? Okay. That's too bad. So, I'm trying to get out of the area. I have no idea where the fuck I'm going. This might give me a better idea. We're here, right next to MRI. I need to get to the evacuation pods, right? That's like, that's my objective. Uh, make your way through the escape pods. Yeah, okay. So, I want to go up that way. No, that red implies that it's blocked off, I would imagine. Hmm, shit. Yeah, I don't know how to get there then. Son of a bitch. That's not good. Shit. How do I crouch? I can't remember how to crouch. It's been a while. Uh, that's how. Where am I? Right there. Cool. Okay. Let's hope he doesn't come in here, because that would be bad. He can't see me in here. It's pitch black. I can't really even see in here. So I should be fine. What's he doing? Okay. He's just gonna keep going. Good. It's what I want. Alright, I think he just opened the door. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. What's your deal, man? Not good. This is what I'm taking from that. Jesus. All right, what's... Okay. Still got a little while longer before I need to worry too much. All right, fuck it. Let's go ahead and take the... Oh, shit, he's right there. But he's turned around. Okay, he's heading down to the right. That's good. I want to get over there. I have a feeling it's not going to be as simple as just going straight. Yeah, I thought so. Yep. Fantastic. Yay! I think he's like right there. Okay, maybe go down that way. First things first is I need to figure out where this fucker is. Shit. Okay.
No? Shit. Where the hell am I going? I don't know what I'm doing. Uh oh. Noises. Am I heading in the right direction? Sure seems like it. Yeah. Oh, he's coming. Oh, shit. Oh god, okay, hold on a sec. Uh, I don't care about that. Okay, he's that way. Wait, no, I can... Fuck, I'm going the wrong way. Fuck, I can't remember. Oh, that way. Fuck. Okay. He was right there. Not good. I can't tell. Okay then. Okay. Okay. Jesus Christ. You've got to be fucking kidding me. That is insane. Okay. This is it right here. There we go. Fuck. Oh, you fucking dare? It's over here. Okay. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Marcus! Damn it! My wound healed! How the hell? Marcus! Why did you do it? Get up, man! Why did you do it? Fuck! I kill you! I kill all of you! Punishment will reach you, I swear. Marcus, why did you inject me with my wound? The bullet went through me, but there's not even a trace that it happened. You're all guilty, all of you. Marcus, you can't. Not now. <sighs> this ship shouldn't even exist. This shouldn't have happened. Why did you do this to us? <sighs> Total chaos. I killed the baby girl. Found the look. You're probably all escaping to the emergency capsules. So you want to protect your lousy bodies and crazy minds? Before you run away, look me in the eyes and tell me why it had to come to this. Ah! My heart! Ah! What's going on? God! It burns! Marcus! Okay, that's some disturbing shit. Oh, he's right there. Okay. Let's get out of here. Scan 
Scanning initiated. Thank you. Holy Overall fuck. Infection. My god. 60%. Ah. Risk of body failure. So stressful. Okay, gross. I thought that would cause like some sort of damage to me. Ah, okay. Jesus. Fuck. <laughs> fuck. Fuck, 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 I'm dead. Uh, uh, I just, I think I just died. Okay, that was a really disappointing death, but, uh, 